What's up, Urban Acolyte family? My name is Prince and I am an Urban Acolyte. And uh, you can kind of see I'm not wearing a Star Wars shirt. I wanted to rap with you guys about Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z or whatever you call it. Right now, I'm still watching Dragon Ball. And normally when I talk about stuff that's like not Star Wars, um, it doesn't get a lot of views and I'm okay with that. I'm kind of doing this thing, experimenting, I guess, where I wanna do more like informal videos. I kind of just wanna rap with you guys and talk about my thoughts on things um, in the Star Wars universe, maybe outside of the Star Wars universe. Um, and Dragon Ball is one of the things I kind of like to rap with you guys about. Now, I'm not really a Dragon Ball expert. I shouldn't say really, I am not a Dragon Ball expert. As a matter of fact, there's like a comment from like six months ago or back um, last winter, I don't remember, um, where somebody asked me about like talking about Dragon Ball and anime, and I said it all sucks. I think it's all terrible, right? Um, but I've been uh, rapping or hollering at my boy, Geekdom101. He runs a um, an excellent Dragon Ball channel. Um, he uh, start, he's, he's kind of covering Star Wars stuff too. And uh, I, of course I had him do a collaboration with me. Um, I would love to collaborate more with him on Star Wars and on Dragon Ball as I get my knowledge or my game up to speed. Uh, but he, he kind of, he, he hollered at me about two weeks ago and he said, look dog, you do the Star Wars thing and you get deep into it. You, you have a background in religion and theology. Uh, you do martial arts and you bring that to the table. And there's also a guy on um, Alloy7. I don't know if y'all follow like gaming channels, but BC that runs Alloy7, he said the same thing to me on a call as he said, what you bring to the Star Wars community is you know theology and you know martial arts and nobody that's doing Star Wars does it the way you do. And that's not to say, oh, I'm the best or something. I just have my take on things and I'm older, right? Uh, my channel um, uh, is kind of catered to a more mature audience. If you're younger, if you're a teenager, that's okay because uh, you know, I'm, I'm a, naturally I am a teacher, right? I envision myself having conversations with older people, but I wanna take the younger people and bring them along and say, look dog, let, let, me, let me kick game to you. Let me, let me bring you up to speed. Let me make you uh, more mature than the stupid shit that your friends are doing, right? And that's what I'd like to do with Dragon Ball and to the Dragon Ball community. Right. So this is kind of me saying I kind of want to move into Dragon Ball and I want to know how you guys feel about that. Right. And um, right now I am still watching like the original Dragon Ball series. Uh, I was listening to a podcast that uh, that Geekdom did with uh, Miss uh, Dragon Ball. I can't think of her name, but she's like one of the first Dragon Ball channels on YouTube. Miss DBZ Super something. I don't, I'm sorry I'm butchering your screen name, but it, it, it's all new to me and I'm shooting straight from the dome. But I was listening to them and listening to dates and things and I realized that the reason I never got into Dragon Ball before is because I, I you know, I'm an old dude. I, I happen to look younger than what I actually am because black don't crack. And <laughs> that and, uh, and, you know, I drink a lot of water and, you know, and don't stay out late because I'm a geek. Um, but, uh, what Dragon Ball used to come on early in the morning when I was in high school and I was not about to get up at 5 AM to look at it. But I remember seeing like Goku running through the jungle. Um, I think when it came out like on Toonami or whatever, at that point I was in college and I didn't, I, when I got to college, I basically did not watch television. Um, where I went to school, you couldn't watch, you really couldn't watch TV in the dorms. Uh, you, you couldn't get cable in the dorms, so you only got like local channels if you were lucky. And um, uh, I, I never really picked up anything other than like the regular ABC, CBS, the local stations. That was it. Um, so and then the military. So I just never I was always away and never had the opportunity to get into Dragon Ball. The, the one time I have ever saw Dragon Ball Z. I saw the Majin Buu, like an episode from the Majin Buu saga. And I remember that because they like talked the entire episode. And I'm like, who is this dude that looks like 
He looks like a stick of gum with muscles and a dick hanging out of his head, right? <laughs> and they talked and I was like, why did anybody want to look at this shit, man? So I like, that instantly turned me off. It left a bad taste. And I, uh, if my homeboy Geekdom sees this, he might come back and say, you know what? Dragon Ball did you wrong. Um, the Cartoon Network did you wrong. Your your introduction to Dragon Ball was like some of the worst episodes. Maybe, I don't know, maybe the Boo Saga was like a big deal and I just happened to see like the worst episode of the saga, right? I remember him being like no one could beat him and something, but there was a lot of talking and I was like, why would anybody wanna look at this shit? So I'll say my mind is kind of changing. I'm shifting now that I'm starting to watch the, the originals and understand them, kind of get into them. I just finished the Muscle Tower uh, arc. And uh, so I've seen the tournament. That was cool. It reminded me of um, Enter the Dragon. Um, and I think maybe that was the inspiration for all these fighting games, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, you know, cause what? Uh, that that Dragon Ball, that's like late 80s, maybe early 80s when it hit Japan. But in America, I think it came out like 88 and uh, Enter the Dragon, you know, that was early 70s. So, you know, there was the Bruce Lee character, obviously, in that. I'm sure there were a lot of other caricature characters that I'm either um, not thinking of right now. Well, there was, you know, uh, Roshi Sensei was, uh, you know, Jackie Chan or Jackie Chun or something. And he was, uh, you know, he did his drunken style thing, you know. So I, I, I picked up on that. That was cool. Uh, but this muscle tower that arc really drew me in because it was the Pagoda of Death from the Game of Death, Bruce Lee's movie. Uh, you had to go to the different levels and there was a boss. He gets on the one level and it's the freaking Terminator. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger's Terminator, right? The dude was even an android or a cyborg. Yeah, an android, you know, the, the, and, and Goku beats him, right? Then he goes to the next level. Was that the ninja boss? Uh, you know, it was like, what, like, Five Ronin or something um, that was that was cool um, but the one that really got me is the fifth level which was the seat the trap door I was like dude that is that is Jabba's palace the trap door and when he fell in I was expecting it to be a ranker monster and it's a freaking giant hut I'm like this is crazy man this is Star Wars and I have a Star Wars channel and there's all these Star Wars homages going on and Bruce Lee and and I'm like, this is, this is cool. I can get behind this. So, um, as, as you can tell, I'm kind of, you know, I'm doing that thing that I do in reaction videos where I start to, my voice starts to get high and, and I start talking faster cause I'm excited and I'm really enjoying it. So I don't know. I, I, I will say that, um, you know, I've had a, a Chris, uh, Chris is a big fan of the channel, personal Facebook friend. Uh, so we talk and I value um, Chris's opinion. He told me not to watch what uh, GT said, so watch everything up until GT. Um, I'm going to let the uh, the Dragon Ball community, like the, the YouTube gurus decide on what I watch if I want to hang out with them. Right. Because if I want to enter the conversation, I got to play by their rules. You know what I mean? Um, so I'd, I'd like to hear from you guys. Like, I don't want to ramble on for like 20 minutes like I've done in uh, a couple other videos because I don't have that much to say about Dragon Ball at this point. I'm only on like episode, I'm getting ready to watch episode 45, which means I'm probably not going to edit this video until sometime tomorrow. Um, but like, I'm, I just finished Muscle Tower, Goku and, and Burima. Um, Bulma. I like the Japanese pronunciations. Like I, I read subtitles and I like hearing the Japanese it because the, the American voice, the dub voices sound stupid. Um, and then some, sometimes the, the, uh, mouths don't match up. Right. So Goku is going to the amusement park with Burima and, uh, and yeah, so I'm, I'm digging this. Kinto ya! Uh, and, uh, and, and if you guys want to know right now, my favorite character is actually Kuririn, um, because he's like a regular dude. And I think like some awesome stuff happens to him. I don't know. Um, I, somebody will probably spoil it and tell me everything that's going to happen, which means I probably might not ought to read the comments, but, <laughs> but that's all I've got for this one. I just wanted to wrap with you guys 
and uh, have a conversation. We need to do more than that. YouTube is supposed to be conversational. Um, I don't always wanna be reading from a teleprompter like I'm writing an essay, which is kind of what I started out doing. So some of the one guy commented, this channel is like gone downhill. And I'm like, dude, you realize I was like writing essays and reading them to you right there's no conversation it's like i'm giving you an essay it's like i'm giving you a, a research paper on star wars right there's no personality i'm having to like find get, be creative and inject my personality in the video so i want i'll still do those for those of you who want the deep theological breakdown of stuff but i want to do more of these if that's okay with you where we just rap and talk and you know and i when 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 little deep insights come to me, they'll just come out naturally, right? And, and it's more, it's real, right? So anyway, that's all I've got for this one. Make sure to check out some of the other videos that I have posted um, over here and uh, make sure you click subscribe so that you can take your first steps towards joining this Urban Acolyte family that we're growing here. But that's all I've got for now. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all keep on breathing and may the force be with you. Always.